before I came to Hope, I was at the uh, Lutheran Church, and I'd been to about four Lutheran churches in my life. I was born in a Lutheran church, I was uh, baptized as an infant, and had attended Lutheran churches. Uh, all my activities in a Lutheran church uh, were, uh, were they're varied and there were many, but they're all because they needed somebody to do the job and I could do it, so I did it. And a friend invited me here to Hope, but it was a Baptist church. And uh, I had to look up in my book of world faiths to see if Baptists went to hell or not. You know, I didn't want to go to hell for going to a Baptist church. And so what was unique about Hope was that it was a small church. I was over at the Boy Scout Resource Center still. And a church only had 200 and some people. But my first Sunday here was when five men had just got back from Zambia or Zimbabwe. I forget. It was one of the African countries. And five hours earlier, and they were telling their story. And I realized, here's a church that's only less than two years old. And already they're affecting, uh, uh, they're, they're working in God's kingdom in Africa. And that just made a difference on me. For some reason, I just remember that. Uh, about three weeks after that was when I came back to Hope because I checked out some other Lutheran churches, but they all had the same thing. They all had the same service. They all had, uh, it was all memorized. And uh, friend, uh, so finally I said, can I come back to Hope just to try it one more time? I asked the friend that brought me the first time. She said, sure. And uh, that was the right time to come because that was the first time I'd ever heard the song, uh, Heart of Worship. And in that song, it talks about, I'll bring you more than a song because that's not what you require. And I'm sorry for the thing that I made it. And I had made church something to go to. And, and so uh, it, that song just hit me. And then Vance's message was on uh, John chapter 7. when he, uh, And I remember him phrasing how it was the last day of the festival. And there was thousands of people there. And Jesus got up and it was a water festival. And he said, anyone who's thirsty, come to me. And, I will, and from your life will flow streams of living water. And that day I knew hope was for me. I mean, it was just, and every time I've come back, has been reinforced that God is here. And, and I just see what's happening here. And, and it's just a different place to be. Right now my perspective has changed. I've got two things that are different. My perspective has changed. And the reason I do things is different. I, I don't do things because they need to be done. Uh, I look at what I have, what God's given me, and where do I feel called to express those talents. And so I do things now where I feel to be called. I'm still in the choir now, but I didn't join the choir for two years because I didn't feel called. Yet I was every church I was in, I was in the choir because I thought I should be. I felt called to the choir here. I felt called to go on mission trips, to, to work with some of the talents I have, either to lead Bible studies or provide, provide computer skills. I really have got to credit every time Vance now says, uh, you just fill out the prayer card and, and we'll pray for you. And it was those prayers from those people in December and January of 02 and 03 that brought me back at the right time.